Hello everyone, thanks for being here today. Um, I don't know what's with me with new products and feeling like I always wanna present them full face style with the rest of the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I've done this recently with a couple of brands and um, for some reason it just makes sense to me to do it that way. Like it keeps things in the context of the whole brand. Kind of brings some older products back into the conversation, you know? So that's what we're doing today with Physicians Formula. We have quite a few new products here. We've got like powders, the, these Better Believe It products. So there's like a powder and a blush that are like that. Um, we have a new Matte Minoy blush which I've been experimenting with and getting rather surprised by. New little eyeshadow palettes, a highlighter, a brow thing. So we're just gonna use all that, but I'm also gonna be using some of the existing products in the line as well. For example, the foundation. This is the Butter Believe It Foundation Plus Concealer. Um, I wear it in light. This shade is a little bit light for me right now, but we're gonna make it work. But this they call a Foundation Plus Concealer, and I actually do think it has really nice coverage, and I had really good staying power with this the other day. I hadn't used it in a while, and I busted it out a couple days ago, and I was like, you know, this actually covers really beautifully, and the staying power is quite good. Um, now, granted, it wasn't in like hot, sweaty weather that I was trying to make this go, but just for a normal day, it worked rather well. So I'm gonna blend that in. I've just got my skincare on. I don't have any certain primer on, but look at the way that like just evens out the skin and it adds some moisture. Would I truly consider it foundation plus concealer? I mean, I think it's a pretty full coverage foundation, but I still end up wanting to go in with a little concealer in certain places, you know, like I wouldn't skip under eye concealer. It reminds me of like IT Cosmetics CC cream, kind of in the texture and in the coverage level. So that's pretty good. But I still, like, I turned my head and I still like, yeah, you did stay up watching the Super Bowl, eating snacks, and then showered late. So my hair, by the way, if you see wetness, it is still actually a little bit damp. I had to see it through. The game was pretty close, but the Rams won. Are there any other people in the St. Louis area just a little bitter still that the Rams left? Okay, so there we are with the Butter Believe It foundation all over. Can you see kind of a gentle... I don't know, glowiness to the skin that's simply as a result of the texture of the foundation, the hydrating nature of it all. And it is really good coverage. Honestly, it handled redness around the nose really well and just an overall evening out of the skin. Really nice work. Um, I would just go around my under eye a little bit. And for that area, I don't have a certain physician's formula concealer, so I'm gonna use my Instant Age Rewind Brightener. Finally got a new one, finally turned that other one into an empty where I kept having some in the bottom. So I am just going around here. I'm gonna do a little extra brightening right in the center of the face. And just dab in with that Real Techniques Expert face brush, baby. Look how nice and brightening, even though this is kind of a light foundation, your Age Rewind Brightener will always go over the top be like, no, I'm a lighter and brighter than that. Okay, and then I just wanna get into the innermost part. Feeling amazing about the coverage on the skin right now. And then we're gonna use our new um, Butter Believe It face powder. Now, some of these new things came to me in PR, and some I had actually found just before that PR came, and I found them at Walmart. But this is in the shade Translucent, and what we have here are kind of like just strips of powder. There's no shimmer in this, but do you see how we go from kind of like light to dark, which I think is a really good idea because how many times do we want to use like a lighter thing on our under eye area and more of an all over skin tone powder everywhere else? Well, this whole thing is said to be translucent, so it's not really going to be a full coverage powder anyway you slice it, but I kind of like that there's something even lighter and brightening that I can go up to the top and get and use that to set the under eye. And it does smell just like butter bronzer, FYI. <laughs> they are holding on to that scent. But yeah, I'm just using a little bit of that and I'm setting center of the face with my light shade. And then I'm gonna set the whole rest of the face with just a little bit larger brush. 
and I'm just going to go down into the main portion of it. And I feel like for some reason the top, that little white powder, is a little bit different texture, like it's a little more powdery, and the rest of this doesn't really kick up as much powder. Like I put my brush down in here, really hammer it, and it's not kicking a bunch. But I layered this with my um, Butter, Butter Believe It foundation a couple days ago, and staying power was surprisingly good. I thought it was actually awesome. Today is Valentine's Day, so I got my hearts on. Um, but as I feel my skin now, I don't feel quite as dewy all over. I probably look pretty mattified all over, but yet I don't feel like I look super crazy flat. But I would say I've been enjoying this little powder um, just because I like the tone variance in it, and it makes me feel like I can get sort of one powder on the under eye and another all over the skin. But still, all in all, it's light. I would not call this powder foundation. It's not in that ballpark. Next, I'm going to use some bronzer, and um, Physician's Formula obviously has tons of bronzers. I've talked a lot about my Butter Coffee that I love for a little satin finish bronzer, but since I've been talking about that so much, I think I'm going to go to the Sculpted Bronzer today. So this is just another shade of their Butter Bronzer, and as you can see, it's pretty deep, um, but I've always really liked this shade. By the way, like, that's just dry. That's just dryness right there. My knuckle looks like red. Get down and get my CeraVe cream on. This bronzer has like a little hint of a slight reddish tone in it I, that I sense when I sheer it out and it just looks really natural. I really enjoy it. Contours well. See that? So I did talk about New Physicians Formula stuff in that last New at the Drugstore video, but that was just the Butter Buddies line, okay? So if you hadn't seen that yet and maybe saw Physici Physicians Formula in the title, that was only about the Butter Buddies line, which is basically like various face powders for every step. They had like translucent powders and um, a bronzer, a blush, highlight, Look at that jawline. Really loving the look so far. I knew I loved this bronzer, I mean, from the olden days. Um, now we have a couple of different blushes. We have the Butter Believe It blush, which is um, in Pink Sands, and this is a little bit softer, okay, like in terms of the color. See how it's just kind of like a light pink when you swirl all that together? And this is nice, but it was about what I expected, you know? And then this Matte Manoi blush. Okay, this has a lot more like little details on the inside. Um, this is called Mauve Mattes. By the way, I haven't been doing this, but there are little like brush applicators underneath this stuff. What did the powder have in it? Yep, yeah, that had a little brush too. But my friends, this is insanely pigmented. That little guy up there, that little flower, if you catch some of that on your brush, like just watch out. It's going to take you for a ride, you know? So I'm going to use this one today because I just, I think it's the more compelling of the two, but I'm bouncing my brush around all of it and you just gotta be ready. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Be, be ready for pigment. Do not scrub your brush in it. Just like lightly dance around the product, like boom, 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 and then tap off excess. But I will say, my staying power, and I was talking about it on Instagram, I was like, you better watch out because this blush, this blush has some pigment in it and it's got some softness. And I'll be darned if that shade did not stay on like it stayed all day all day and blush isn't always like that but like i did have on quite a bit and it was pretty pigmented so look at this like this is hardly any on the brush my friends so yeah blush lovers just you'll you'll get your fill with hardly any effort with this one i mean i like it i'm just a little bit like i'm slightly scared by it but i like it <laughs> This, did I order this through Ulta's website? This is the um, Let's Toast highlighter. This did not come in the PR package, so it was either Walmart or Ulta that I ordered this from, but it's in Champagne, and see how we have our little overspray there. You can see how I've kind of worn over one of those champagne glasses, but even so, what's underneath is still a very glowy product, okay? Look at this. Oh, and it smells smells so good. It's not the butter smell. It's 
maybe it is a little bit of a champagne smell, but I really like it. Like, I, I don't know, it smells better than champagne to me, but it has that kind of, I don't know, essence about it. So we're just swirling this on top of the cheeks and I love the tone. It does have kind of a goldeny tone, but it's, it's really shearing out big time. Oh, by the way, what did the blush smell like? Mm, the Matte Minoy blush smells a, a teeny bit more like floral, not quite, it, it's not the same butter scent as all these products that say butter believe it. Those have the traditional butter bronzer smell. And they're really playing with scents at Physicians Formula. I don't know, I feel like if you're very fair, this might not be brightening enough for you, but I think you can see the glow coming through on my skin there, right there on the cheek. It's very soft. Um, you know, I don't love oversprays. So once that wears down, like, that does take away some of the cuteness of the product significantly, right? But yeah, it would have been actually kind of cool if that lighter shade, I think, went all the way through the product, don't you think? Then it would kind of be like two highlights in one. But let's really get down to it. I like it. Do I think it's the best highlight I've ever owned? Probably not, but I do still think it's beautiful. Like, it's, it's catching the light. It's not my most dramatic highlight, but it, it's a pretty one. And then, my love's not new, but we do have the Butter Believe It Skin Mist. So, uh, you best believe I'm going to use that as well. Um, it's just that butter scent flying at you. That butter bronzer, traditional, like, where it all started. It's just that liquefied. But I am feeling really good about the coverage on my skin. I like the glow on my skin. I used a bronzer that I already knew I really loved. I used a blush that um, has really proven itself for me over the past couple days. This Matte Minoy blush. I mean, the staying power too. Like, that's really saying something. In my PR package, there was this little pen, and I immediately thought it was eyeliner, but no, it's a brow pen. It says Palm Feathered Micro Brow Pen, and it's just in the shade universal brown. So this is just a brush tip little pen and I didn't love it. Just for my brows I feel like it kind of is a little much for me. Like I, I have to be so so light with it and there's all different kinds of brows out there right? So there could be somebody who's like Yes, I need to rework the brow entirely on my face. I don't want it to be too intense, but even so, I'm, I kind of wonder about the light feathery strokes and how I can't quite get them. Can't get them as light as I'd like them to be. Like, I'm really risking overdoing the brow with this thing. If you like going the pen style direction, I feel still nothing is better than the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen. And that has the little three pronged, like little brow pen fork action. It's really good. Really love that. But this, like, look, I just very lightly went over it, and that's m more opacity in my brows than I really even want, you know? You feel me? Like, it's hard. Normally I can be all, like, calm and carrying on a discussion during this brow time, but I'm, like, concentrating, trying to make sure I don't get way too much going on here. Barely touch the skin. Barely touch the skin. No, I did enjoy the Super Bowl last night. I was one who loved the halftime show because, like, those were my glory days, man. <laughs> okay, so brows are filled in probably a little more than I would even find necessary. Maybe it's just like throwing me because I have no eye makeup on still, but I'm gonna put on a little gel. I'm just gonna grab out some NYX Control Freak because I don't wanna tint these babies anymore, <laughs> so. Maybe I can brush up through with this and kind of, I don't know, soften the look somewhat. Maybe, maybe not. I need to trim my brow hairs again. The pen is just not for me, guys, the brow pen. You ever wake up in the night and you have to go to the bathroom, but you just flat out deny yourself that that's going to happen because you're so warm and cozy in the bed. You're like, like, body, deal with it. I'm going back to sleep. We're not going to the bathroom. <laughs> That's what I told myself last night. All right, brows just... See, the beautiful thing here is that you guys can't really judge me on my intense brow over here because you, you watched it happen. You lived that moment with me. You saw that I was trying my best. You know I can do better. It's just, it's just real thick. 
real dark. We are now going to move on to an eyeshadow primer. We're going to get back into a little comfort zone here, a little Milani eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to use one of the two new Physician's Formula little palettes. Now I've used them both. We have one that's in the Butter Believe It range and they chose basically the same format as their shimmer strips, you know. Um, it's got this, I hate when it's not a real firm plastic window. Something really heavy could gouge that. The name of this was Bronze something, but it doesn't say that on the outside. But this is our shade line up here, um, matte there, matte there, and all shimmer throughout. And it did an okay look for me, but I wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is great. Like, I love it so much. Um, you know, these shades are real shimmery, but it's just, it's just an okay for me eyeshadow palette. And then they put out a matte Minoy one in the same kind of format. Um, all matte. This one I liked better. I still probably have other matte things. I don't know. I'm just thinking about my giant um, color pop palette that could have all the shades that would pull off this look as well. Um, so if you have that, just, you know, this is all there. But this is a smaller palette, so we're kind of talking in a little different product category here. And it created a very classic, cool matte eye for me. So I think I'm going to do that again because I did like the look. Of the two palettes, I like this one better. The textures, I will say, are really soft. I guess all I'm asking for is maybe for one of these shades in here to have been a little darker. But but we're gonna work with it like just to show you I'm gonna take that shade that second one and pop it in my crease and you can see how like it's just super light I would like that shade to be a little deeper but I'm just showing you okay so then we're like all right thanks um, but I need some depth so we go down to this second to darkest shade right here which is a very cool kind of like a gray brown mix and we're gonna sling that into the crease here Okay. But again with the staying power, I did have amazing staying power with this as well. So these Matt Minoy products, really good stuff. Like in terms of just their texture, their ability to adhere to the skin, I guess. Okay, so just kind of working that in a little bit. And then I'm wanting to come in with my flat brush and the darkest shade. So this is kind of like a soft black gray mix. Something I like about this shade is how easy it is to blend. So I'm patting it on my lid. I'm gonna flip my brush and get it going there in the crease. And see, I'm loving that. I'm loving that softness. And then I'm just going in with my uh, first crease brush and it just moves with ease. This is one of the easiest to work with near black colors. And then if you want more precision with exactly where that darkness is going, I would say just hit it with a smaller brush. Profusion Small Pointed. You can kind of sculpt that shape a little bit more. You know, you can give yourself more lift. You can just kind of go about placing the color exactly where you want it. But it's like, you know, I, yeah, I guess I, I'm trying to keep it smooth and nice looking, but the shadow is really helping me out and just being really easy. So next, I think I'll just take, I'll take some of this little like peachy shade and just kind of run that over my edge. It's just kind of like another highlight, honestly. It sort of smooths things a bit. And then with that same color, I'm using my little uh, smaller brush, smaller flat pointed brush from Morphe. And that's just going to be what's on the lid. Inner lid, I should say. And then if you want, you could take a little bit of the white, which, boom, you know, a lot comes off on the brush there. But you can brighten with the matte white also for a very flattering brightened up look. Anything extra on the brush, you can highlight with that. Is this the only place I could get this look? 
No, you know, you could come up with these shades in other palettes, so think about what you have, but this was good. Like, I enjoyed using the shadows. I found them easy to use. It turns out a nice classic look. Um, if I were to remake it, I would have made, you know, one of these four shades be just a little deeper than it was. But overall, it's pretty and I do like it. So Physicians Formula has a really good um, black liquid liner in their Matte Minoy line. This is matte black and the format of it is just, you know, that tiny brush inkwell design. And I'm gonna use this across my upper lash line. And I remembered testing this when it was new and I had really good um, good results with the staying power. And it's very, very black. And you can kind of count on the inkwell design eyeliners to stay even blacker than some of the pens. Some pens are flawless at all times, but then there are others that kind of like have some sheerness and here you don't really have to worry about that. So I'm going to do a little wing. The only thing about this brush is that if you hold it one way you get a little bit thicker line. And you, you just got to have an awareness. Am I holding it toward the fine side or am I holding it on the thick side? That's really my only complaint here. And the only reason why if I had, if it was down to this or Milani um, 17 hour wear, I would choose the Milani for that reason. Next up, talk about more rediscoveries here. Um, things that were already in the line. We've got the Butter Mascara. So you know I'm gonna pop that on. Um, I got some decent thickness with this stuff. Um, this is not not a bad mascara at all and with age I feel like maybe it's gotten a little more volumizing. But wouldn't you know like it still smells like the butter bronzer which I think in a mascara I admire their consistency but dang like they put that scent everywhere they can. See that's actually going on really nicely and it's just a standard brush you know like a real traditional brush and it carries a good amount of product to actually be sort of volumizing like really add some thickness in there. Thickening was the word I should have used. Volumizing I associate that with the look of more lashes like a higher volume of lashes but thickening I'm thinking of adding more thickness and blackness and texture to each lash and this is doing the thickening pretty well while still not sticking them together so I guess it's also doing some volumizing well. Oh, the other thing about that eyeliner is sometimes I inadvertently get some on my the base of my eyelashes and it like kind of dries there. It's, it's sort of a weird thing and you can feel yourself like trying to go over it with the mascara and pull the lashes apart a little. But on this eye in particular it stuck some lashes together because it's just kind of like hardened at the base. And I think some of that's from not knowing if you're holding it on the fine side or the flat side. Okay, so the eye is done. Like I said, I really, that definitely affected the application of the mascara, getting some of that eyeliner on the base of my lashes because it made them start to stick together. But the mascara in itself really isn't bad. I mean, it's not my most favorite ever, but it did do a decent job. And as you can see, I'm keeping my eye look kind of like above the eye today. Just, you know, a little lighter look, a little more classic look. I'm, uh, you know, I've done the smoky thing quite a bit lately and now I'm just keeping it kind of light and lifted. Now I had to go to the Physicians Formula website to see what lip colors are you actually selling these days? So it looks like they've discounted the butter lipsticks. I'm wondering if those are going bye-bye now. Those were actually a really good product. Um, I thought they were thick, shiny, colorful and they've got some like rose matte pencils that I haven't really used a lot of. They've got some diamond shine like glosses, lip plumpers, but here's what I'm familiar with and this is what still seems to be part of the line, the organic wear um, tinted lip treatments. These are really good and I'm having a rediscovered moment with this right now. I pulled the shade Tickled Pink. Um, let's see how this goes with my with my outfit today. Oh it's smooth Mm, not really any scent to it, 
which is so surprising to me that the one thing I've put on my face that is unscented today is the lip product. But they're really pretty, really soft tinted lip balms. They have some pretty shades. They're kind of like neutral as well. I'm gonna amp it up with a little bit of Lead the Way, my um, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Crayon. Like I'm just gonna add a little on the outside. It's almost a coordinating shade, just a hair deeper. See how that just kind of filled it out a little more? And dare I say, we're gonna do a little more blush. <laughs> With my intense blush, I'm gonna go down more in the bottom. I'm not even gonna hit that maroon looking color. Mm, love. Really, really pretty. Take my hair down even though it's kind of wet. It's kind of dry on top, but like going to sleep with my head wet, literally like it changes nothing for my hair. Like it would be straight if, it, if I went to bed with it dry, it's gonna end up straight if I go to bed with it wet. But yeah, this is my whole look, created a full face with Physician's Formula, really without having to sub in much of anything um, except a concealer. And that was pretty much it. So I would say like the things I was most impressed with, the Better Believe It Foundation Plus Concealer, like I should be reaching for this more. This has good staying power on me. This has good coverage. Um, it doesn't look dry, but yet it's not like shimmery glowy. I just, I like this stuff. I also like the new Butter Believe It powder and the Minoy blush. Those would be like my big three favorites, I feel like, in everything I've used. And I do like these organic wear lip things. This blush, the Butter Believe It blush in Pink Sands. This, by the way, you didn't see me use this today, but it's pretty. You know, it's nice, but it's not like it's not like quite as wowza as the Matte Minoy. And I do like their little matte eyeshadow palette, although it's not 100% perfect for me and it's not super duper unique either. Highlighter I also thought was pretty, but it is the kind of look I could probably come up with in other products too. So friends, hopefully that gave you some info on what's new and not so new from Physicians Formula. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please leave your requests in the comments section below. I love to hear them. I love to work on those. So thank you so much for your time and I will see you again soon. I love you. Bye.